joints are also called articulations. So think to yourself, what is a joint? And does that definition acquire some sort of movement or not? So joints are really where just two bones meet or come together. You may have thought of something like the knee joint, elbow, those are joints with a lot of movement, but joints don't require mobility. They can have very little movement and still be a joint. So we're gonna go through this week, different types of joints and ways to categorize them and talk about them, starting first with functional classifications. What I mean by this is the amount of movement that they have. You can have a joint with a lot of movement. You can have a joint with a little movement. And you can have joints, articulations, where two bones come together with no movement. And of course, we have more complex names for each of these. So I'll introduce these here, but I'll go over them again later. A lot of movement is going to be diarthroses. A diarthrosis um, is singular. Diarthroses would be plural. These are highly mobile joints. So this word arthrosis sounds like it has arthritis, that term in there. Arthro refers to joint. So kind of helpful to see that in there. Um, a little movement is um, ampiarthroses. arthrosis for singular, and no movement is going to be synarthrosis. So I'll go over those terms a little bit more. There's introduction to them. We also can categorize joints by their actual structure, which often relates to function, um, but we can, we're going to talk about this differently and then relate them. So structural can be a fibrous joint. That's going to be dense, regular connective tissue made out of fibers. Um, you can have cartilaginous joints, so made from either hyaline or fibro cartilage. And then you can have synovial joints, which are more complex structures, such as the knee, elbow, hip, fingers. These are going to be highly mobile. They're always diarthroses. Um, and they're synovial because they have a synovial membrane capsule, more complex anatomy that's, um, that we'll talk about. So this week, we'll start by talking through each of these, then relating structure to function. And then we will talk most about synovial joints. And we'll come back to this in lab and see lots of examples of synovial joints.